salute. First off, I want to start off this video by saluting you for tuning in. I want to salute you for continuing to stay on the motherfucking ladder of prosperity, no matter how hard it gets, and for making it another day on your journey, man. Now listen, as you can see from the motherfucking title, it says clearly in bold letters, as I usually speak, I will never fornicate, man. See, I don't see the motherfucking point in doing it. Why would I fornicate when I know that if I keep my seat, I will be my best version and I can transmute all of my energy to being my best version as far as, you know, manifesting my goals and becoming an entrepreneur, being an actor, being an activist, motivational speaker, being strong, things of that nature. And I know you have those, you know, similar goals as far as, you know, along those lines want to be a you know want to own real estate you know want to be a great sports you know play as far as basketball football boxing whatever it is that you do as a man it is in our dna to want to be the best we're supposed to want to be the best and we're supposed to be the best in our own ways in our own unique ways see the universe has tricked us all into thinking that we are supposed to be in competition with each other and we all have something individually unique that we bring to the motherfucking table. There is no need to ever compete with no man. See, the reason why you should never fornicate is first of all, women just wanna have fun, right? So a lot of these women have what? Semen demons. Fucking all of these different dudes and what are women looking for a man? They're looking for a man that's on his shit. So you finally get on your shit after being in a dark place for a long time in your life. You starting to get some woman attraction. You acting like a little ass boy because you got the motherfucking glow and you hype that these women is feeling you. Man up, nigga. Give my push up, man. Man up, bro. Stop acting like a little kid. Fuck the glow, nigga. Fuck the glow. Stop worrying about that. Continue to be a king. Continue to value yourself. Continue to prove to yourself every day that you are a king. Because that is your job to do that. You have to get your subconscious mind in line with what the fuck you trying to do with your life. You owe yourself a lot of time, G. You've been watching porn for 10 plus years. You know... I'm, I'm, you know, I done gave like six, seven years to women. You know, I was in two long-term relationships. Had sex with both of them bitches a million times, thousands of times. Bro. I could close that chapter in my life for a while. Y'all could quote me on, on that. <clears throat> I will never fornicate, man. I'm not giving, that's a simp, yo. Like she only wants you because you want your shit and you gonna give her exactly what she want? What about you? What is she bringing to the table? Oh, because she pretty? She can arch that shit when you hitting it from the back? Bro, you gotta want more in your life, man. Huh? Cause guess what? When you're not having sex with these women and you actually get to know these women, you will see a big difference. And you will most likely not be attracted to the same women that you were attracted to now that you are on semen retention, learning to value yourself. You will start to realize that most women don't value themselves. That is the reason why they carry themselves the way that they do. And you as a king, anybody around you is a representation of you. So you want to make sure that anybody you bring along in your space represents you well without even trying because they represent themselves well. I will never be with an insecure woman. I will never sleep with a woman just because she values how attractive I am or because I'm on my shit. You don't think it's a simp for having money, cars and all that other shit, everything that you want, all the shit that you're trying to manifest. And then you give her exactly what she wants because she wants you because you got that. You know women want that. So as soon as you get that shit, you, you, 
you gonna feed into the woman attraction, bro. I'm not never feeding into the woman attraction. I don't give a fuck about woman attraction, bro. I am going to be transmuting all of my energy as you should as well towards my goals, man. And everything I wanna do and will do in my motherfucking lifetime, man. For real, what separates you from the next man is your discipline and what you are doing that he's not. See, you wanna be in the 1%? See, you already in the 1% or you headed in that direction by practicing senior retention. So keep doing it. Because just because you're doing it now, guess what? If you get off track, you're no longer in the 1% no more. You're not. See, you can get in the 1%, but you have to maintain. See, that's a lot of people's problem in life is the maintaining part. See, people could do semen retention. We all have semen, which means we all can retain it, right? But see, if you can't maintain, then you're not really practicing it. You'll never go the distance, and you'll never become your best version. I don't give a fuck if you went 30 days, 90 days. If you do not maintain, you will never become your best version. It is about maintenance. Maintain that shit, G. And do the maintenance on yourself along the journey, along the marathon. Of prosperity The ladder of prosperity Excuse me Right Because that is mandatory You owe a lot of time to yourself bro There is no time to be playing around bro It doesn't make no sense It makes absolutely no sense to be feeding in the woman attraction G. I don't, I don't get it I don't get how you've been in such a dark place For the majority of your life and you finally are starting to see the light. And you're going to go back in that dark place because she's high value. What the fuck is high value? Because she's on her shit? Bro, what the fuck do you want? Because see, a lot of y'all like to complain about women. About women, women this, women that. They don't know what they want. But do you know what you want? You want to be your best version or you don't. Because you can't fornicate on semen retention. A lot of y'all don't know that. See, you practicing no fat, bro. You're not practicing semen retention if you having sex on semen retention. See, semen retention is very simple. It's about not ejaculating. So if you ejaculating with women and you're not ejaculating the porn, that's no fat. If you want semen retention, then get your fucking shit together, bro. And stop fucking fornicating. Stop fucking around, man. That's not semen retention. That's no fat. Get it straight, man. A lot of y'all niggas get this semen retention shit confused with no fat. See, we don't don't compare us with the no fat niggas. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And when I make no fat videos, I'm talking about semen retention still. It's just a no fat challenge for everybody on semen retention to not edge. And to not watch porn on a low. Still, that's why motherfuckers be having wet dreams and shit. You putting all these images in your mind. Fucking with your subconscious. Fucking with your dopamine receptors. You fucking up your brain, nigga. But I don't practice no fat, nigga. Not the no fat that they be talking about. Them niggas is busting gallons and nuts all over the place, nigga. I, I can't relate to that. See, if you're looking for somebody official on this journey. That's going to really go the distance. And that take this shit seriously. And you looking at you looking at the motherfucker right now. Man. I ain't playing with this shit. And a lot of niggas know that already. But see, y'all don't know me like that. I haven't been on here long enough and I get that. Be patient with me as well as you, you know, as you know. As long as you you continue to be patient with yourself. And we on the ladder of prosperity together. And time will tell, man. Time will motherfucking tell. But see, I'm ready to close the chapter of fornication. That chap that chapter's already closed. I'm done. Because like I said, you cannot fornicate on semen retention. That is against the rules. You're still ejaculating. See, if you're going to practice this, really practice it, bro. You owe it to yourself, man. You owe it to yourself to be a king. You've been looking for the answers for so long on the internet trying to figure out how to be your best version in all ways, shapes, and forms. And you know what's most searched up on YouTube? Is what size is good for a woman? What size dick is good for a woman? 
You need to figure out how long, no pun intended, you need to be on semen retention to be your motherfucking best version. Now, as you climb in the ladder of prosperity and you look down, don't be afraid to fall. Enjoy the motherfucking view. I'm out. Salute.